we can get something going. Yeah, there we go. And they're probably going to be guarding ladders, I would assume. So we're going to try this out here and see if they are. Well, uh, they, it would be fun if you could name your ships each time you started a game. That actually was supposed to be a part of the game. Uh, it was supposed to be, they, they kind of got rid of it. It, be, it was supposed to be playing featured a long time ago, I think last year. Cap Stancy, I think, was the name of the update for that. And it was supposed to name. But I guess they kind of, they kind of put that in back burner, as they would say in development. Uh, I mean, they, those guys are not really that good. I gotta make sure that my sails are in the wind. Still, and I think we are fine. I don't know where I'm at. I do got sails in the wind. Make sure I do. If I actually had a keg, I would go and make that work. But we're coming into... Uh, let me see, that is, so we're gonna have to do... I gotta get over here and I gotta try to get the anchor down or anything to actually get us back to the northeast. Yep, that there was kinda got me bad. Where on earth is my mermaid now? That was kind of me. I just got a little bit close to the front end of the boat. If I had a keg right now in the water, I'd come right up with the keg and bomb, bomb the middle deck. I don't want to do that. I did not mean to do that. I don't know what they want so bad. You you never want to give a boat a harpoon angle or cannon shot angle. If they, if they do, you need to go and immediately get your boat into like a non-cannon cannonball range. And right now that I'm going against the wind, and they might be going against the wind, so it's it's an absolute dead beat. That's the thing, you never want to give any boat a harpoon range or harpoon angle, so like, if they're able to, you need to immediately try to get that fixed. And that's one thing about, I'm trying to make sure that I can't give them the range for that. Now this time here, I should be able to get them. Oh, they got a mega omega on them. Oh baby. Hey, come on buddy, come on. Try try better next time. I did, I did, I did, my, I might, um, I might, I might have just caked the boat. 
I might have flipped physically caked about. They weren't really that good of a player because they weren't going the ladder. And they should have known that I was going to come up the ladder. And I think I might have blown up their boat to uh, Timbuktu. And, and then the make might actually bite them too. So uh, I'm going to consider that boat a casualty to my, to my once again, mass, mass pirate murders. That's how you, uh, going in, and one thing you do is you have firebombs. I just went like, oh, you have firebombs? I'll use your firebombs on you, man. I don't know if they sank, but knowing the fact of what was going on, oh, we kind of did run into, uh, uh, period, uh, Plunder Outpost, but Plunder Beach. I want to see if they're out there still, but I think that boat might be gone. That boat is gone. Boat is gone. Oh my god. I, I firebomb and I think there was a keg up in the crow's nest, which actually I was going to go up to, but then once again, the other guy the other spawned back up top, and I was going up the crow's nest. I didn't want him sniping me out, so I went back down and dealt with him. So That was a. Very, very, you do not mess with Captain Fiend, and I will come on there and board your ship if you're not guarding your ladders. If you're not guarding your ladders, and I board your ship, and then pretty much you're done. Then I got your anchor down. Looks like I got one hole in here to deal with, which is fine. I kind of knew that the boat was going to hit Plunder, but I knew that there'd be no, no problem with it doing that, so. Oh, another day in Sea of Thieves. 